<laughs> Firstly, let's see the announcement video of Meta's new Llama 3.1 model. We're excited to deliver on the long-awaited Llama 3.1 405 billion parameter model that we previewed back in April. We're also updating the 8 and 70 billion models with new improved performance and capabilities. The 405 is hands down the largest and most capable open source model that's ever been released. It lands improvements in reasoning, tool use, multilinguality, a larger context window, and much more. And the latest benchmark numbers that we're releasing today exceed what we previewed back in April. So I encourage you to read up on the details that we've shared in our newly published research paper. Alongside the 405B model, we're releasing an updated collection of pre-trained and instruction-tuned 8B and 70B models to support use cases ranging from enthusiasts and startups to enterprises and research labs. Like the 405B, these new 8 and 70B models offer impressive performance for their size, along with notable new capabilities. Following feedback we heard loud and clear from the community, we've expanded the context window of all of these models to 128K tokens. These models have been trained to generate tool calls for a few specific functions, like search, code execution, and mathematical reasoning. Additionally, they support zero-shot tool usage. Improved reasoning enables better decision-making and problem-solving. Updates to our system-level approach make it easier for developers to balance helpfulness with the need for safety. We have been working closely with partners on this release, and we're excited to share that in addition to running the model locally, we'll now be able to deploy Llama 3.1 across partners like AWS, Databricks, NVIDIA, and Grok. And it's all going live today. At Meta, we believe in the power of open source. And with today's release, we're furthering our commitment to the community. Our new models are being shared under an updated license that allows developers to use the outputs from Llama to improve other models. This includes outputs from 405B. We expect synthetic data generation and distillation to be a popular use case that enables new possibilities for creating highly capable smaller models and helping to advance AI research. Starting today, we're rolling out Llama 3.1 to Meta AI users, and we're excited to bring many of the new capabilities that Angela outlined to users across Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, and Instagram. With the release of 3.1, we're also taking the next steps towards open source AI becoming the industry standard, continuing in our commitment to a future where greater access to AI models can help ecosystems thrive and solve some of the world's most pressing challenges. We look forward to hearing your feedback and seeing what the developer community will build with Llama. In an open letter, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg compared the new Llama model to the revolutionary open source Linux operating system. Back in the late 90s and early 2000s, Linux started gaining popularity while big tech companies were pushing their closed systems and calling open source risky and unreliable. Today, Linux powers cloud computing and is the backbone of Android mobile OS. I believe AI will evolve in a similar way, Zuckerberg wrote. Right now, a few tech companies lead with closed models, but open source is catching up fast. Meta's decision to release its AI isn't purely selfless. Earlier versions of Llama have helped Meta become a key player among AI researchers, developers, and startups. The new Llama version has a whopping 405 billion parameters. Meta has also released two smaller versions of Llama 3 with 70 billion and 8 billion parameters and upgraded versions called Llama 3.1. Llama 3.1 is too large to run on a regular computer, but Meta has partnered with cloud providers like Databricks, Grok, AWS, and Google Cloud to host the model. Developers can also access it on Meta.ai.